Dear viewers, in this video, I am going to share you the best book for experienced investor in the Indian stock market. Last week, I have shared a video for the best books for beginners in the Indian stock market. If you didn't watch the video, click here and watch this video because if you didn't read those set of books, you might find difficulties reading the books that I am going to share in this video. I am Prashanjit Paul, author the best selling book How to Avoid Loss and Earn Consistently in the Stock Market and also actively investing in the Indian stock market since 2010 and achieved financial freedom. So let's start. The first book that I'll recommend is One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch. The author of this book, Peter Lynch, is a very successful fund manager. You know, during the period 13 years period, he has generated 29% annualized average return for his fund. 29% for 13 long years is a very big deal. You might successfully generate 30%, 40% or even 50% return for one year, two year in the stock market. But while you take the period of continuous 13 years, in this 13 years period, with, despite the market ups and downs, 29% return is a very big deal. So you are going to get the guidance from this person, from the successful fund manager, Peter Lynch himself in this book. And he experienced, he shared his experience on a lot of topics, starting from multi-baggers, from management, and a lot of things you'll surely find beneficial in this book. The drawback, well, the drawback is the examples are from the US stock market, which you may not correlate in the Indian stock market. And also, you know, the book is written on a very sophisticated English. It's not very easy to understand English. In fact, while I read the book, I struggled a lot. I used to sit with a dictionary while reading the book. So obviously the language is not easy. So this is also, I'm not recommending the book for beginners, rather for experienced investors. That's a great book. The second book that I'll recommend is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. This book is perhaps the highest rated books on stock market globally. And the primary reason is Warren Buffett himself recommended this book. And this book often considered as a Bible of value investing. Well, there are a lot of good things you'll find about the book. If I'm talking about the drawbacks, obviously there's a long 600 pages book that was written in 1949, but still relevant in current days. And obviously the, all the examples are taken from the US market. So readers on the Indian stock market might find difficulties in correlating these things. And yes, as usual with the US authors, the English is not an easy to understand English, rather the English is a very sophisticated English. I'll suggest before reading The Intelligent Investor and One Up on a Wall Street, you should at least read my book, How to Avoid Loss and Earn Consistently in the Stock Market. Again, I'm not recommending just because I have written it. I'm recommending because that's, I think, in my view and not only in my, as per my view, based on the reader's review across Google and Amazon, you'll find that's perhaps the most easiest, most easy to understand guide ever written on the stock market. So if you read the book, How to Avoid Loss and Earn Consistently in the Stock Market, after reading that book, you'll get the idea of the stock market and then you can read this books intelligent investor and one up on a wall street the third book that i'll recommend is from an indian author well the book is the thoughtful investor by mr basant maheshwari he himself is a fund manager and he has multi-decade experience in the indian stock market in this book you will find from his vast experience how to find multi-baggers the management analysis fundamental analysis what to do what not to do in the past bull market beer market and lot so it's a very good coverage on the indian stock market and most importantly all the examples the given in the book is from the indian stock market so you can very surely you can correlate with those examples given in the book so this is all i'll highly recommend this book for experienced investors in the indian stock market the fourth book that i'll recommend is quite different so this book is you can be a stock market genius so this book is not really about fundamental analysis or technical analysis or multi-bagger management analysis it's not about that rather this book is about how and common individual investor can earn better can earn money from the stock market with using special situation opportunities what are those special situation opportunities well those are like rights demerger spin-off or like the reverse merger and all so this book is also written by an us author so all the examples are from the US stock market. So you might find difficulties in correlating those examples in the Indian stock market. But those concepts like the how one can make money from rides, demerger and all. So those are very beneficial. And I, I didn't find any book 
written on such concepts so that is a quite unique book not like all other books written on fundamental technical or management so that's quite different and how you can earn money from the special situation opportunity so you should read the book despite the examples are from us stock market because you will surely like the concepts that's mentioned in this book the fifth book that i'll recommend is the most important things by howard marks again this book is not directly talking about the fundamental analysis or company analysis or technical analysis rather this book covers some important psychological aspects on investing what to do what not to do how to manage the risks how to train your mind how to handle risks or how to handle your investment across the bull market bear market across the market cycles and a lot more so the author is also a very successful fund manager and he shares his experience the psychological aspects of the stock market in this book so again you will find it beneficial again the only drawback is this book is also written by an us author and the english is not easy to understand english rather quite uh, sophisticated english but apart from that drawback for experienced investor i would suggest that's a must read book after books i'll suggest to go through my video tutorial series on fundamental analysis because in books or in text format live demonstration is not possible live demonstration means how to do research how to initiate the analysis how to check the fundamental strength of any company in my video tutorial series which is available in the website www.prashanjitpal.com you'll find how to initiate research how to sort out companies from the 5000 companies in the stock market and then i have also provided and pre formatted excel sheet using that excel sheet you can judge the fundamental strength of any company within just 5 to 10 minutes which is a very high highly beneficial feature for investors and i have provided the entire live demonstration to become a successful investor in the stock market again i am recommending the course not just because i have prepared it rather i am recommending because all the members of the course have shared positive reviews all of them mentioned that that's an easy to understand and easy to implement method and that's also a compact course there are only 10 video tutorials on the series so that's a compact and everything covers about the fundamental analysis so you can go through that course i am sure you won't disappoint now share your comments what are the books that you already read what's the key lessons you learn from those books and which book you like the most i hope you like the video don't forget to click on the like button and share it with your friends in social media and also don't forget to click on the subscribe button subscribe button is already visible in the screen because in this channel i'll keep sharing multiple insightful video at totally free of cost and unless you subscribe you won't get those videos at free so subscribe the channel at totally free of cost that's it as on today stay tuned happy investing goodbye